Hello everybody. In this video tutorial I want to show you how we can find outliers in a data set and we are going to use what is called the MAD method which is the median absolute difference method. And it sounds very complicated but it's not very uh, difficult to do. And when are we going to use this method? Well, this method is particularly useful when we have a data set and the data are not normal distributed and are not symmetrical, so the data are to some point uh, skewed. So how are we going to deal with that? So let's say we've got our observations here. I think uh, there are 13 observations and uh, maybe, for example, the weight of a mouse. And what we do is we calculate the median of the data. Uh, we can do that very easily in Excel. So it is equals median. I start typing and it comes up with the median. So left mouse button clicked. I select the data and I will get a median for it. So the median is 32.6 of these data. And what I now calculate is the absolute difference of each data point from this median. So I calculate the absolute difference and I start typing absolute difference of this data point, of the first data point from the median, from what I just calculated. That is this number here and I lock the cells so that I can easily use this equation for all the other data points. So click F4 and it locks the cell. So I get here, this is the first absolute difference between this data point and the median. And now I can just simply drag down the equation and I get all the um, differences of the data points from the median. What I now do is I again calculate the median of the these data points and this is called the median of the absolute difference of the data point from the median. So I just simply calculate the median of these differences equals median. Again, that is very simple. Again, left mouse button clicked, drag down and I get the MAD, the median of the absolute differences between data points and the median. So that's 8.8. .8. And now I can come up with, I can calculate the two keys fence for my data. And the two keys fence is the range in which I would expect my data to be or anything that's outside this data range that would indicate outliers. So how do I do that? The, for the lower fence, it is the initial median that I have here, 32.6 minus 4.45 times the MAD that I just calculated. Where do, does this 4.45 come from? Well, this is sort of a consistency factor and that makes this method it brings it in line with uh, other calculations for outliers. So that is where this 4.45 comes from. Actually, it's 4.4478, where we can do a little bit of rounding. So let's quickly calculate uh, this value. So equals the median that we just calculated, that is this one here, minus 4.45 times the MAD and that gives us for the lower fence negative 6.56 and likewise for the upper uh, fence all we need to do is we take the median 
plus 4.45 times the MAD. So let's do this. Equals the median that we calculated plus 4.45 times the MAD. So that is this one here and that gives us 71.76. So that means that anything that is smaller than 6.56 or larger than 71.76 would be classified as outliers. Now what we could do of course is we can sort our data. So I highlight the cells and I sort the data here and I sort for example smallest to largest on this menu here and I get my data sorted from the smallest data point to the largest and I see the smallest data point that is well in this range here because it is larger than negative 6.56 but the largest data point here so that is this point 100.1 is outside this upper Tukey fence it's larger than 71.76 and therefore I would consider this data point here, this observation, as an outlier. And as discussed before, we need to be careful what we are going to do with outliers. Uh, if it is just simply a slip of the pen and I meant to write 10.01, then we would not uh, think twice uh, removing it. But if this actually is a true observation, then we obviously would have to think about what does that mean? Uh, is that something uh, that the experiment wants to tell us? And therefore, I would be very careful in removing this outlier. So thank you very much. I hope this makes sense and uh, you understand how we can use this method, fairly straightforward method, to calculate and find outliers in a data set.